Greetings from the land of the endless sky. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Artelenico 2. Keep it down in there! Okay. I didn't mean to, like... Luca, was it? Will you come with me? Again, I need to fix scaling issues. I haven't really discovered a scaling set that I want to use, well, custom, so I'm just using the native, that's why... It took me a lot to get you out of there. So why did you do it? The Grand Bell is, is out to punish you severely, but I can't let them do that. We can chalk this up as a training incident. You bring hope to the knights. All, of all of our knights, you are the most powerful and skilled. Not to mention, not to mention, you're loyal and honest. I have high hopes that you'll be my successor one day. But don't say it. Everyone knows it's something nobody wants. However, to maintain this world, we must rely on the, this drastic measure. The Grand Bell will excuse your conduct under one circumstance, which also co coincides with my wishes. Croy, you are to protect Lady Cloche until our war with the goddess is over. And you shall lead us to victory. That's our only condition. You can decide for yourself. That's all I have to say to you. Think it over and then give me your answer. During that time, you're free to move around the Grand Bell. If you agree, come find me and I'll let you know. Or, er, and let me know. Yeah, uh, because, uh, Apparently, I've made the choice for you already. <clears throat> Otherwise, leave this place before I find out. I'll think about it. Choice time. Oh, and by the way, Lady Cloche wanted to see you. Heh. <laughs> Looks like she say sees much in you. Go to her room. Yes, sir. That's never a good thing. Everybody leaves the group. I'm the only one in the group. I hit the wrong button. Oop. Okay, apparently Legacy's room is at the end of the hallway. Lady Cloche? Don't you know you should always knock before you entering a lady's room? I did, about 30 times. Uh, when that fails, you should cautiously announce yourself. I did, about 8 times. Forget it, please state your business. Lady Cloche, were you crying? Don't be silly. Why would I ever cry? I'm sorry about what Luca said. Why are you apologizing for her? Because I feel like crap. I knew. I helped them do it anyway. I don't need Luca to tell me that our plan is soaked in blood. But it's the only way we can defeat the goddess. I had no choice. I'm the symbol of, grand, of the Grand Belt. I'm the goddess maiden. Pain that comes from betraying the people. Can you understand what that feels like? Honestly, it'll all be worth it once we create our land. I bet you thought I was heartless. No, that's not true. It's okay. You don't have to be nice. I never had luxury of someone to lean on for support. No one can truly understand how I feel. I'm the maiden of disaster. I shouldn't be allowed to exist. I'm not the daughter of the previous goddess maiden, Lady Arsh. But I didn't even know that until now. They tricked me as well. I've always been alone, now and forever. Lady Cloche.
As long as the goddess lives, we're not allowed to sing Malefaca. The song that creates land. But we can no longer talk to her. We don't understand each other. So I'll take all of her sins and kill her. I've been soaked in blood. I was born to take the, sh the blame. I was prepared for it. I knew this was going to happen. But I'm not doing this because I want to. Please tell me. How can I create a paradise for everyone? How can I save this world from its terrible fate? Now what? Worried about Kokona. She still should be in the underground prison. Let's go. Okay. Thank you, objective. It would be a lot funner if I could jump. I have no need for you save points. Oh wait, this is the outside. Never mind, this way. Yes, I'm getting lost in the Grand Bell Palace. This place is freaking huge. How do you expect me not to get lost? Uh, this way? Yep, this way. There's a few parts I remember about this, but then there's... Coconut, they let you out? Crow! I'm so glad. I thought I was gonna... I was going to have to live there forever. You know, not everyone is allowed to leave yet. A little Cursey would feel obliged. They won't let you out? I asked them, but they said no. They said they let me out because of, of your trust in me. I see. Wait, where's Luca? Oh, some old geezer took her away a while ago. A weird old geezer. Anyway, we need to do something about Amari. Don't rush on my account. I'll sit back and wait for my charming prince to arrive. But of course, I'm not referring to you. you seem pretty calm. But they can still kill you if they want. So we have to do something. Stop worrying about me and start worrying about Luca. That old man was Al Alfin's per personal advisor. Blah. What? Oh, sorry, but I need to find Luca. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. I won't hold my breath. Coconuts, rejoin the group. Gee, I'm gonna try the throne room. Oh wait, here we go. I was right. Uh, it's been a while. Lottie, are you sure this peasant girl is the other maiden? The heavens descend that Chester performed. Are you telling me what it wasn't a trick? No, not at all. This girl is a true 33rd. She is Cloche, daughter of the late Lady Arsh. Which means she is the goddess maiden. Do you still have doubts? It's rather hard to believe. We've been on a hopeless search for the goddess maidens for these past 18 years. Granted, it was quite difficult to do so without alerting the public. That's why I want to doubt this claim. If you say this average girl is that maiden, there must be some proof of it. Then, let me give you such proof. D. Cellophane is installed in this girl. Proving she is legitimate. Allow me to demonstrate. What are you doing?
Gotta like when the enemy knows how to speak that word language too. No! Why? What's why such terrible? Convinced? I'm sure this is your first time seeing the D cellophane. It's proof that the true maiden, the, the crystal that can contact the goddess, and her access to the divine pillar. We have finally found the goddess maiden. We're one step closer to creating Malefaca. However, if we attempt to create Malefaca now, it'll be no different from 400 years ago. First, we must win our war against the goddess. This world may fall at any time. We must defeat her as soon as possible. Chancellor? The time has come. Call the maidens of disaster immediately. We are going to war! Luca! Are you alright? Why do I have to go through all this? I just wanted to live with mom and Laika like a normal family. I never wanted to be a part of high society. Luca, what happened? Uh oh. Huh? Amari? Calm down. We're travel companions, remember? Don't stare at me, kid. I only came to rescue our holy maiden. Lady, come with me. We will patch this world back together by walking alongside the goddess. Luca! Croy, I can't stand this place anymore. I'm going with our Mari. Would you like to come with us, young one? It's a tough decision, but you better make it fast. We'll be happy to take you. But honestly, I don't care. But someone wishes you to extend you a warm welcome. Who? If you feel up for it, we'll wait for you at the Grand Terrence. Come before dawn. If you don't, we'll assume you're an enemy. I hope to see you again. And this is the part where we diverge into two parts. No, not really. So, today's the day. The objective says nothing. I've already decided what I'm doing. Eventually, um, I don't feel like going outside right now. Ah. Where is Grand Terrence anyway? Okay, this is the current objective. I must choose between Luca and the Sacred Army, and Lady Cloche and the Grand Bell. It's a really hard decision. I'm gonna actually save, because we haven't saved in a while. Oh, maybe a rest would do nicely. All right. Actually, I should go back to the save point. No, I don't want to rest again. This would probably save some time later. All right, let's see. Grand Terrence. Where is the Grand Terrence? It's finally the day. Everything in, I believed in to now. The Grand Bell, Captain Leglius, and Lady Cloche. She seems so lonely, having to suffer all by herself. A complete new place, the Sacred Army, the Divine Messenger, and now Luca's there. Luca's painful face has burned into my memory and won't go away. It's a huge decision that I can't take lightly. It's not just me, but this determines Lady Cloche's and Luca's destiny too. Uh, oh, I can't do the dartboard effect. Anyway, we know what we're doing. Luca. I will protect her.
welcome to our very own sacred army. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is Shun. It's nice to meet you. We will now head to Anna City, the home of our headquarters. Our only kind-hearted people who are serious about the world and the goddess make up our ranks. Anyway, let's head to the aircraft. This reminds me, I should do Radiata stories one of these days. Troy, why are you here? I was betrayed by the Grand Bell too. And I want to protect you. That's really strange. I said some really hor terrible things to you. I was going to say horrible, which would have been right. It would have been right. But not part of the dialogue. Ah, Chester. Welcome, Croy. We're very happy to have you. You're... Oh, it's quite the angry expression you got there. But we were enemies at one time. That's all behind us now. By the way, how is Coconut doing? Has she had any more uh, complications? How do you know about that? Amori told me. I'm sorry to hear that she's an IPD. Today, IPD occurrences are ten times what they were ten years ago. Do you know the current government is infecting people with it on purpose? Innocent people are now suffering from a disease they shouldn't have. All in the name of a war against the goddess. I have been helping them all this time. Don't worry about it. They tried very hard to keep their secret safe. What matters now is what you do knowing this. What do I do? It's, it will still take a while. Please rest and enjoy the trip. And I think this ends phase one, doesn't it? Army HQ is at the end of town. I'm sure you're tired. You should get some rest in town first. When you're ready, please come to the Sacred Army H HQ. Now, excuse me. Sacred Army HQ has been added to the town map. Luke has joined the group. And of course, um, Coconut follows us. Uh... Let's go back to Market Row for a moment. Mandatory! Cut out for dual stalling. Whee! Well, I can say, level up! Although, it didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Oh well. Let's see. Check the next page after that. Okay. Maybe because Lady Claus she's not in group. Yes, she did. I'm gonna end it here. Tune in again for more Artelenico 2 as phase two starts. Well, I think after I go to the Sacred Army HQ. But for now, we're still in phase one. And fade out again.